becoming MPs, James and I both had careers in the health service. Having trained as a nurse, James as a doctor, we then worked for the NHS for 28 years between us. In December, voters in North Wales sent us to the House of Commons. We all wanted to get Brexit done. It's what the Welsh people voted for and we've delivered on that promise. But this year has thrown up challenges that none of us expected. That's why we both returned to work in our NHS to help fight the pandemic. It's always a privilege to be working alongside colleagues in the NHS. They go above and beyond to deliver quality health care for the people of Wales. But every shift does highlight one thing, that 20 years of mismanagement by the Labour Welsh Government has well and truly let people down. It's unbelievable that our health services have been left to languish in special measures for the last five years. Whilst patient care is suffering, our health professionals are pushed to breaking point. And that is why I am standing for election to the Welsh Parliament next year. I have worked for the NHS in various roles for over a decade, working with dedicated professionals. Our one aim is to give patients and their families the best possible care. Sadly, many of our colleagues feel let down by the Welsh Government who have been in charge of our NHS for the last 20 years. Next year, I'm standing for election so that I can make sure that my colleagues' voices are heard at the heart of government in Cardiff to deliver for our Welsh NHS and for North Wales. But it's not just about our health services. As your prospective First Minister, I would create a devolution revolution. Too much of our day-to-day -day lives are controlled by the government and it's failing to deliver for us. Now more than ever, we need a Welsh government that is going to turbocharge Wales and get our economy firing on all cylinders so that we can create jobs and invest in our public services, especially our Welsh NHS. In May next year, you have the power to vote for a Welsh government which will cut waste and end the dither and delay in government. We will upgrade the A55 so that there isn't just one motorway in Wales serving the south, making sure there is a lifeline for North Wales. We will deliver an M4 relief road and we will deliver renewable energy projects using Wales' coastline. But it's not just about building for the future. It's about providing our children with the opportunities to succeed. We will end the underfunding of our young people that has gone on for far too long and ensure more money goes directly to schools. We will deliver support for young carers so they don't have to choose between helping their loved ones or their education. And we will deliver more training opportunities, such as degree apprenticeships, to enable our young people to be the best they can and end the poverty trap in Wales. Next year, you can vote for a new future for Wales, one of hope, one of aspiration, and one which will deliver more jobs better hospitals and safer streets for the whole of Wales.